Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, hello, my name is V. I post nail tutorials. I am so excited to be back. I've been in my A for a little bit. It has gone hectic once again. My health hasn't been the best and having a toddler has been insane. But regardless, we are here and y'all know that I will come back stronger than ever whenever I do. So we're gonna be doing my toes for today's video. And I know that my last video also included a giveaway. So we're gonna announce the giveaway winners to that video. I am so excited to be sending five lucky winners the Model Ones Poly Gel Kit that I used in that video. I will leave it linked somewhere right here so you guys can check that out and see how I used it and definitely check out my Instagram page as well because I did some extensions using that Poly Gel Kit too for some Valentine's Day nail inspo. Now for the winners for that video, I'm gonna put the list right here because I cannot remember the names. I can barely even remember mine. So winner one, two, three, four, and five. Congratulations to all of you. Make sure you message me on Instagram and I will get that shipped out to you. Thank you again, Model Ones, for sponsoring that video and that giveaway. Now we're gonna be doing some Valentine's Day now, so let's get right into it. into today's video we are starting off with my crusty christmas toes i did do a pink set for christmas if y'all missed that definitely check it out the design was super cute and even though we are over christmas it's always good inspo for next year now we're going to start off by using my e-file at about a speed of 8,000 rpms and i am using this five in one bit that i randomly found in my drawer was not a fan of it i don't know where it came from don't know what cut it is but it felt a little bit weird so i ended up switching over to this safety bit that i found from profiles backstage which is one of my go-to bits it is really good and it's good for beginners as well if you are scared of cutting yourself that round little piece is the way to go and you'll see it a little bit later as I switch from my toe. Now I'm gonna be focusing on removing the design of my toenails. I do have builder gel on them and I'm just going to be trimming them very lightly. I cut them not that long ago because I do like to keep my toenails nice and trimmed even though they're not done. I still trim them so that they are not super long and uncomfortable with closed toed shoes. Here is when I switched over to this bit. Absolutely love it, way better. I am using my dust collector from Kiara Sky as well to catch all that dust. And a little spoiler, I actually finally took it to the salon, so I'll be sharing that video with you guys later on this week. And I'm obsessed. I definitely need to get a second one so that I can keep at the salon and one here at home. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish removing that. I'm also making sure that I don't have any lifted areas. I had a little bit of a lifted portion here on this toenail, which is really weird because I typically do not get lifting on my toenails, but I do remember that I kept smacking my toes. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, every time I would walk, I'm like thinking they were a little too long, so that may have been the reason why, but I'm just gonna go ahead and finish removing that. I removed the lifted area very easily with my bit. Builder gel is very soft, so it is very easy to file through. So always be careful that you're not over filing your toenail either. I'm gonna be taking a hand file now and we're just gonna be filing that tip, making sure that it is nice and shaped. I'm not fully shaping them out because I like to do that at the end as well. And it allows me a little bit of extra length to create that extra crisp square shape that I like. Now I'm gonna be going in with my mandrel bit from Profiles Backstage and a medium grit sanding band in the color green, but they also have purple. I'm sure you guys have seen that on my channel if you are a very frequent watcher of my videos. But I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the shine off of my natural toenail. And I'm going to buff that off very carefully. And then also removing that lifted area fully on that toenail. But I'm just pretty much focusing on very gently buffing off that shine. Very important, I lowered my e-file speed to about 3000 RPMs on the not polish e-file. Next, I'm going in with this diamond bit. So much love for this bit. Any diamond bit really, but this one I absolutely love. 
It is like a tapered one and I just love it for getting into those hard to reach areas. I'm obsessed with it and the ability of it removing that dead skin. I love this process. This is when you start seeing your toenail come together and then whenever you buff that dead skin off of your toes, they look extra, extra clean. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that and then we're gonna be switching over to the ball bit. Also at a speed of 3000 RPMs for all of the portion of e-filing where you are doing it on your natural nail or your skin. Here I'm just going in with that ball bit and we're gonna be removing that dead skin from around the toes. If you have any area that is super dry and super hard, go ahead and use this on there, whether it's on the heel, anywhere on the toe, on the skin surface, definitely is very helpful and you could just buff away that dryness and that hard feeling. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that and then we're gonna be going into prepping our nail for the application. I'm going in with this little dusting bit. I absolutely love this one for my toes because it is really hard to get all that dust off from those tiny little toes. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it at a speed of 4,000 RPMs and everything is getting sucked right into my dust collector. So it is amazing. This process is so enjoyable when you don't have dust everywhere. From someone that doesn't use one at the salon, I 100% recommend one. I'm just going in with a lint-free wipe and a little bit of Young Nail Swipe, cleaning off that excess dust and also dehydrating my toenail. Next, I'm gonna be taking this BB gel from Profiles Backstage. It is my favorite, definitely recommend for toenails if you're needing a little bit of extra strength in your nails as well. This is always a good base if you're just wanting for a natural gel application. I'm obsessed with it. And for my toes, it just makes everything look a little bit more clean, a little bit more clean girl, I guess you can call it. But I love, I love, love, love using this as my base. You can always use this as a little bit of an enhancement for another gel color application. If you're wanting to do white toenails, you can use this as your base and then add that white. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that. Now with a liner brush, I'm using the micro liner from Vita Bella and I'm just gonna be making sure that it gets into those hard to reach areas. And then we're gonna cure that in the light for a full 60 seconds. You can flash cure it, but it gives me a little bit of a chance to kind of stretch my back out from doing my own toes. So I just go ahead and do 60 seconds when I am curing. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that process on all the toes. You can do it as thick as you want, as thin as you want. I try to do it pretty much full coverage and so that I don't have to do a second layer. So you can kind of see me right there bouncing the product so that it gets a little bit bulky. And then again, going in with that liner brush and infilling those hard to reach areas. I prefer to avoid it and then use a liner brush and then move it all the way. Because once you get it into that cuticle area, you pretty much have to remove all of the gel with a lint-free wipe and a little bit of a nail swipe and start from scratch. Otherwise, you're gonna get a lot of overflow into your cuticles and it's gonna end up curing there and it is not cute. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that application on the rest of my toes. Now do know if you are flash curing your gel, make sure you go in with one last round of 60 seconds to fully cure all those layers. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Young Nails Swipe and a lint-free wipe. And I'm gonna go ahead and just cleanse that tacky layer off. And I'm gonna be taking my hand foul and just fouling the tip. I did not wanna foul the surface because the application was very smooth, but if you have any lumps or any areas where you had to add a little bit more, Definitely go in at this point and file that into the smooth perfection But because I just applied a layer of it nice and even I'm just focusing on the tip Now 
for our nail art, I absolutely loved how my toes looked for Christmas. So we're gonna be sticking to that same color combo, except we're gonna be doing a Valentine Day toenail design. I'm gonna be doing Frenchies on my second toe and then the fourth one. I know one of y'all commented the names of it. I gotta, I gotta study them because I do not remember. So shout out to you for <laughs> coming in clutch and giving me the names of our toes, but I do not remember. So we're just gonna go with the second toe and the fourth one. And I'm gonna be doing that with a white gel polish and my micro liner brush. I'm using my micro liner brush because we are currently redoing my YouTube room. We have fun things coming. So we've been very busy behind the scenes doing so many different projects at once. So I'm so excited to be sharing all of that with you guys very, very soon, hopefully. But we are in the process of redoing our YouTube room and it is an insane mess in there. So I just grabbed the first one that I found and I went with it. It's still really good for those tiny little details, especially since they are on my toes. So it definitely came in handy. For the third toe, we're gonna be doing some hearts and I'm pretty much trying to infill the whole toenail with bigger hearts, tiny hearts, different colors, and I'm also doing glitter as well. So I'm sticking to what pink and white palette. I did do a white, a light pink, and then a glitter pink. And you can always add a little bit more fun to that, but I just kept it the same. And I'm pretty much moving the direction of the hearts kind of to see where they infill perfectly that nail. Curing that in the light for a full 60 seconds. I'm adding glitter gel polish from Profiles Backstage to the pinky toe. It is nice and bright and super, super glittery and I'm obsessed with having my pinky toenail glitter. I just think it looks so cute. I did that with the Christmas ones as well. Now for the big toe, we are actually gonna be doing some lips and also tiny little hearts surrounding them. So I'm just gonna be sticking to two. I cannot tell you guys how much my back hurt <laughs> during this process. So I was just trying to do simple, cute, and so adorable. So I ended up doing two little lips, one in pink and one in white. And then I cured those in the light and I'm going to be adding tiny hearts surrounding those lips. Kind of just accenting the toenail on one of the corners. I didn't really want to add it to the whole nail because I wanted to make it a little bit different than our third toe. So that's kind of why I stuck to the tip and kind of bringing it up towards one of the sides. Um, again, I'm just going to go ahead and draw that. I know it's a little bit hard to see the detail with the glare of my light. But if you know what lips look like, that's pretty much what I'm drawing. Again, using the micro liner brush from Vita Bella. Next, I'm going in with this gel top coat from Profiles Backstage. It is one of their most recent launches, so I will let you guys know how it holds up on my toes. But the last one that I applied for my Christmas toenails got a lot of stainage, so I typically try to use stain resistant top coat on my toenails. They just tend to get a little bit more dingy very quickly, so I will keep you guys updated on these. And so far, as of right now, I've had them on for about a week, and they still look really good, so. Rubbing some cuticle oil in there nicely to rehydrate my toenails, but this is the final result and this is what we got. I'm obsessed with how they look. They are super, super cute. Let me know what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned a ton and I will see you guys next time.